Hey guys, so today I'm doing a review and a few on the NYX Butter Lipsticks. If you guys saw my NYX Hits and Misses, I'll link that up here. I talked about these briefly, but I told you I was going to have a more in-depth review video. So that's what I'm doing today, so let's just get started. So there are 22 shades in this range. I've heard that some are sold at Ulta's and some are online exclusives, but NYXcosmetics.com has the whole range of 22 lipsticks. So I will have all of their names and the color descriptions from the NYX website listed down below so you guys can check all that information out and I only have two. I have Hunk and I have Taffy. Hunk is a really pretty wearable version of Max Rebel. I'm wearing it today. I really like this color and Taffy is just a mid-tone creamy pink. So here is Taffy and here is Hunk. Here is Hunk on my lips. So I just wiped off Hunk and this is the stain that left behind so I want to show that to you guys as well. I've had this lip color on for like two hours and this is how it stained my lips. Really nice. And so when the color wears off this will still look nice um, until I have time to reapply it. And here is Taffy on my lips. Keep in mind I just applied this over my stained lips from Hunk so this is showing up a little bit more pigmented than it would normally. So on NYX website, it claims that this unique texture seems to melt onto the lips, giving full yet lightweight coverage with a luxurious satin finish. So um, I don't agree with the claims 100%. I do feel like it melts onto your lips. It does have a lightweight coverage, but it's not a full coverage by any means. I don't think this is full opacity. And it doesn't really have a satin finish. Um, it's more like of a cream sheen kind of a finish, which I prefer. I don't like satin finishes. It's too drying on my lips. So I, I agree with like half the claims. Um, so as for scent and flavor, these have none, which I like. I do love the scent of the NYX Butter Glosses, but these do not have the same scent. There is no scent. As far as pigmentation, these are a sheer to medium coverage, but they are buildable. And again, it depends on the shade that you chose and the natural pigmentation of your lips. As I've mentioned in many videos, my lips have almost no pigmentation, so colors do tend to show up very accurately on me. So for texture and finish, these are a cream finish and the texture is really nice and moisturizing. I was trying to think of how to compare it with other things that I have to explain it to you because I actually found that these two NYX lipsticks have different, like feel different on my lips, which is weird. Um, I understand why they would, you know, the color payoff would be different because this is a deeper shade and this is like a mid-tone shade, but the texture feels different. So I'm going to try to describe this to you as best as I can. So we'll just see how it goes. But the Butter Lipstick and Hunk, the texture of that one on my lips is somewhere between a Maybelline Baby Lips and a Revlon Lip Butter. As you guys know, Maybelline Baby Lips are very, very thin, almost a slippery feeling. And the Revlon Lip Butters are a bit more thick and opaque. So it is right in the middle of these textures is how um, Hunk applies on my lips. So I really like that. I think that's a nice texture. And for um, Taffy, on the other hand, um, the, it takes a little bit for me to build up the color of that one on my lips and it can feel a little bit heavy. Like if you guys have tried the Jordana matte lipsticks, this is the shade Lavender Lady. I don't like this one because it is almost like a, like a really like waxy lipstick and it's hard to like rub my lips together. And I feel like that when I use this one because they're both cream finished lipsticks, but I feel like the hunk shade has a little bit more of a sheen to it and the NYX um, Taffy does not. It's not a satin or matte. It, it, it looks like a cream, but it is just kind of like hard to put on your lips. Like it's almost like a harder texture, but yet when it does come off on your lips, it comes off in thin layers. I'm really sorry if that does not make sense. That's why I, I've got such mixed reviews on this lipstick at, um, because I have had different results with Hunk than I have with Taffy. Let me know if you guys have had any similar instances like that when trying these lipsticks. I know a lot of people kind of complain about the lighter shades not having much pigmentation and if I'm having issues with a mid-tone shade, no way do I want to try out the lighter shades. Okay, for lasting power, honestly, I put this on right before I went to class. When I came back from class, it was almost gone and um, it had left a little bit of a stain. So this lasted on me like an hour. 
The taffy shade lasted on me about an hour and the hunk shade lasted on me about two hours or two and a half hours and that's probably because of the color. They actually both did stain my lips which I was surprised about um, but they did stain my lips a little bit which I liked because as quickly as they wore off um, I liked that there was a little bit of stain there so of course taffy um, didn't stain near as well as hunk did but um, the lasting power is definitely not great on these lipsticks in my opinion and I did not eat or drink anything I didn't even really talk because it was a lecture class so I just listened so you know it lasted me an hour which is not good at all so as far as the packaging goes the color of the packaging does accurately represent the color of the lipstick but I do think it looks kind of cheap um, and like young but I don't think that's bad I'm not really going to critique this packaging I don't think that it's going to break I mean it's got it's clear here so you can see your actual lipstick which I like instead of just you know those stickers that are made to look like the color but are sometimes not at all accurate so this is obviously accurate because you're seeing the actual bullet but um packaging is okay I don't love it but it's not the worst so as far as price and availability these are six dollars at Ulta and six dollars at nyxcosmetics.com I don't know if these these particular lipsticks have been in Targets or CVS's but I do always recommend buying NYX at Ulta because then you don't have to pay shipping and um, NYX is almost always buy one get one half off and you can use your 350 off of ten dollars coupon so I, I definitely recommend if you can buying them on buying them at Ulta but of course for some of these shades you might not be able to find them there and some of the next products are like that some of the shades you have to buy on their website or other online websites so for my overall rating of this product um, I give taffy a two and I give hunk a four because I love this color it, and you know max rebel it's not something that I have I didn't think I could ever wear it and this since this is lighter it's it is a more wearable version of max rebel it feels super comfortable on my lips right now I cannot feel anything so I totally recommend this one but like I said this one is more I feel like I really have to build it and then it feels a little heavy and waxy so I did not like this particular color um, so this one I'm gonna give it a two because I did once the color was on my lips I thought it was a beautiful shade but um, so I'm only giving this a two, but I'm going to give this one a four because I really love the color and I really love the finish and the feel on my lips. So I would definitely recommend trying out the darker lipsticks from this range. There is one deeper than this. There are a couple reds, a couple deeper pinks. So I would definitely recommend trying those out or some of the mid-tone shades, but I really have not heard good things about the nudes. Miss Lola Lynn did a whole lip swatch video, so I'll make sure to link that down below of all the colors. So leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this product and what colors that you've tried and let me know what you think. And I'm sorry if my description of the texture wasn't very good. I was having a really hard time trying to describe what it was exactly like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.